Hey there gamers, today we are diving into the latest installment of WWE 2K24. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're not just gonna be reviewing WWE 2K24. In this video, we are comparing it to one of the classics, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. 2011? Why 2011? That game came out like for the PS3. Exactly. 13 years of innovation, development, and two generations of consoles later. Let's see if there really has been a development. Sure, 13 years, let's do it. Let's go. Well, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 had 78 roster members. WWE 2K23 had over 240 roster members. I'm pretty sure the 2K24 is gonna easily exceed that number. The WWE Universe mode actually made its debut in the SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 video game. Sure, the Universe mode made its debut in 2011, but in 2K24, the Universe mode has evolved and it's better than ever. Sure, but we had a mode that everybody still misses to this day, the Road to WrestleMania. Yeah, so 2K24 has a showcase mode and this time it is dedicated to 40 years of WrestleMania. Oh yeah, but your showcase mode does not have free roam. While as in SmackDown vs. Raw, you could roam around the locker room. You could visit different offices. You could enter random fights. You could have random fights with random superstars while roaming around the backstage area. You could do it all in SmackDown vs. Raw. 2011. Well, move on. All right, all right. Free roam aside, this time we have an enhanced Royal Rumble. This time we've got a stage camera back, which means that camera is going to be facing the stage while we're going to be playing the Royal Rumble. You know what? I'm actually very glad that you brought up the Royal Rumble match. And I'm very surprised that nobody else has also not noticed this thus far. The Royal Rumble match that you've seen in 2K24 is so, so much inferior than what we had back 13 years ago in SVR 2011. This year, you get to see the wrestlers making their entrance to the ring in the Royal Rumble match. Oh, you wanna talk about the entrances now? Every superstar or every major superstar in this game actually got to make his own unique entrance even in the Royal Rumble matches. For example, take a look at this. That's The Undertaker making his way to the ring during a Royal Rumble match. That's MVP right there making his entrance during the Royal Rumble match. Whereas the games now, at, at least in 2K24, you do get to see people making entrances. Whereas until 2K23, you couldn't even see that. But in 2K24, Every star, no matter it's The Undertaker, no matter who it is, they're all running down to the ring. Whereas 13 years ago, this game that came out on the PS3 and the PS2, all the superstars got to make their own unique entrances. And a game that's now out for the PS5 cannot do that. Wow, I'm truly amazed. Wrestlers made their specific entrances back two generations ago in PS3, but they cannot do that in PS5? I'm truly amazed by that. All right, you have a point, but hear me out. In WWE 2K24, we've got special guest referee. I mean, check out this video right here featuring Randy Orton as a special guest referee. Special guest referee, we had that. Yeah, we did. We had that. Take a look at this. Enough of that. Let's now talk about the Ambulance match. The Ambulance match is not the only match that is in 2K24 but wasn't there in 2011. Let's talk about the Gauntlet match. Did you have that? Gauntlet match. We had that too. Take a look at this. Chris Jericho in a Gauntlet match. Of course, this is a part of the Road to WrestleMania mode. And there you are in that match itself. Chris Jericho in a Gauntlet match. Well, what about the Casket match? Oh, we didn't really have the casket match, but we did have the first blood match and the Inferno match. Does 2K24 have the first blood match 
are the Inferno match types. You know, blood's not really encouraged these days, right? I mean, the programming also, even, even the television programming is kind of shying away from blood. We don't encourage blood, so yeah, there's no first blood match in 2K24. That's, that's silly, but okay, fine. So what I'm trying to say is that WWE 2K24 is a game that came out 13 years after 2011 did. I expect 2K and WWE to deliver much better games. Am I wrong? Well, I guess you are right. SmackDown vs. Raw right. 2011 was indeed a great game. And so is 2K24. Uh, but yes, yes, I, I agree with your point there that it, it's been two generations, right? That game came out for the PS3. We're now talking the PS5. Is 2K24 good enough for the PS5 or can 2K do better? Better gameplay, right? In, in terms of the graphics, in terms of the performance, the gameplay, everything. Can 2K do better? Let us know your opinion in the comments. We'll be reading your comments. That's right. Take care and we'll see, see you in the you. next video. Thank you.